get in here. We're going to get started. I have promised you all I'd be on here at 1.30. I'm about two minutes late, but something happened weird with my phone. But I've got my bottle of water. You need to get you a bottle of water. You need to be dressed to lace up shoes. <clears throat> and we're going to get started with crisis cleaning. So here, here's how it works. We're going to spend 15 minutes. I have my trusty timer right here. And I am going to turn it up where it makes a racket. Yep, it's going to make a noise. And I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes. And we're going to start in our kitchen. It is the heart of our, our, of our home. And this is exactly where we're going to store, start. Now, this is... Let's just say you get a call from somebody you went to high school with and you haven't seen them in 20 years and they're in your neighborhood. I mean, they're going to they're gonna be coming to your town and they'll be there in an hour, 15 minutes tops. Yep. So this is what you do. Okay. So you're dressed to lace up shoes and you're going to set your timer for 15 minutes. Are you ready? And we're going to our kitchen. Now, I'm going to talk you through this. I'm going to talk for 15 minutes on what we're going to be doing in our kitchen. So go to your kitchen and the first thing, oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I forgot to put my microphone on. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go into our kitchen and we're going to put a stopper in the sink and you're going to fill your sink full of hot soapy water. Always, when you go into the kitchen to do anything, you fill your sink full of hot soapy water. And this is how you do it. I use a silver rag, and you're in luck. Silver rags are, are there's a special deal on them right now. I keep a silver rag or a purple rag in my sink at all times for washing dishes. They make the best washcloth, uh, dishcloths you've ever seen. So we're going to focus on the sink full of hot soapy water. Do not leave your kitchen. You're going to stay in your kitchen for 15 minutes. And this is how we're going to do it. Sink full of hot soapy water. And you're going to start putting dishes in the sink while the water's filling up. And I want you to open up your dishwasher and think about, is it clean dishes in there or are there dirty dishes in there? If there are dirty dishes in there and it's full to the brim, I want you to start the dishwasher and get it running. This is half the battle. Let's get the dishwasher going. Let's get those appliances going. Now, you're not going to clean your oven out right now. You're not going to clean out your refrigerator. You're focused on the surface. surface, surface clutter, your countertops, your sink, and your dining room table or your kitchen table. And this is all we're going to focus on right now. So. If your dishwasher needs emptying, let's do that while I'm talking. It only takes three to four minutes to empty your dishwasher. So let's get the dishwasher going emptied so you can put more dishes in there. If it's full, you're going to have to let it run. Let it run. Let it run. And then start washing dishes. Now, wipe down your countertops so you can put a dish towel out to lay your clean dishes on. And... And I just got through washing a bunch of dishes. My dishwasher had dirty dishes in it. I started it, but there were still a few that wouldn't fit in there. And I am running my dishwasher. And then I'm, I'm, I washed a few dishes, wiped down my countertops, wiped down my stove. So that's what you're going to focus on, just your kitchen. Focus on the left side of your sink. And, you know, just look at, look at your kitchen as if, you'd never looked at it before and let's just clean everything toward the sink that's in on the left side of your sink and then then focus on the right side of your sink that's where I, I dry my dishes I lay my dishes out to dry that's also where when I empty things out of the dishwasher they go right there so that I don't have to make steps over to where they belong and then I will move them all over to where they are supposed to go so let's get started. Let's get, you're already going. We got 11 more minutes to go and it's going to be fun. We're going to get this kitchen clean and 
The kitchen is the heart of your home. It really is. Now you could put on a, a teapot full of hot water right now and just, you know, get the water boiling so you'll have a, a, a some tea for when you're, when you're through with your crisis cleaning. And let's just, um, let's get that. And sometimes you can even put some spices in there. If you just have a pot that you boil herbs in, get that sm wonderful smell of herbs like uh, cinnamon and cloves and maybe a, an orange peel or something or a drop of or orange oil. And let's get our house smelling good at the same time that we're doing the crisis cleaning. Now, I, as you've got the dishes soaking, sometimes you just need to let them soak a little bit. Don't ever walk away from your sink with water running. But put the dishes in the, in the hot soapy water and then let's take that from that point and let's look at our floors. You know, the floor can be kind of a, a gross situation. And I, I want you to get some, some hot, hot, hot water and put on your mop cloth, put on your mop cloth and, and let's mop our floors. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be done. Just a quick once over done. Um, I'm doing this crisis cleaning to help you get ready for the holidays. Sometimes we need to see a little success to feel empowered. You know what I mean? Let's, let's feel a little success in what we're doing. And, and then that way we're spending 15 minutes in our kitchen. So do the, let's mop real quick, just the floor around the sink, around the stove, just a quick, quick and dirty mop just a quick and dirty mop it doesn't take long it doesn't take long it just has to be done and then you can take that mop cloth and put it um, you can lay it out under your sink to dry or you can take it uh, take it to the wash machine and throw it in the wash machine and turn it on you know it's all about getting those appliances running that's what we used to say you know just get the appliances going and it'll look like you're doing something but this time we're really using a little elbow grease and we're getting things done. Um, getting your kitchen clean, that is the heart of the home. So when your friend gets there in an hour, the tea water will be simmering and you can pour you a cup of tea. You can already have your own cup of tea because that's what we do at the last thing. So we're, we've, we've spent uh, seven minutes already, half our times, done in our kitchen and we're staying focused. This is focus on your kitchen. We're not leaving the kitchen for anything. We're focusing on our kitchen. And then, then when you get through emptying the dishwasher and you, you can add more dishes to your dishwasher and run it again, or you can just keep washing dishes. Just don't, don't expect them to just magically get done by themselves. Wash the dishes, rinse them, lay them on your dish towel, and before you know it, your kitchen is going to be looking good. Now, it doesn't take long to do the floor. So you've done the floor. I want you to rinse out your, your purple rag or, or silver rag. There goes my magic wand. Purple rag or silver rag. And I want you to take your cloth and we're going to wipe down our stove. Now rinse it out really well. Do not get distracted. Kitchen only. Yes, yes. We're going to take our purple rag and we're going to wipe down our stove. We're going to wipe down. I have a glass top stove. It gets to looking pretty rough. And I have a single edge razor blade. So don't go looking for a single edge razor blade if you don't have one handy in your kitchen drawer. But I use that to scrape off things around the circle on, on the eyes of my stove. But if you don't have one, don't worry about it. Don't go looking for it. We don't want to get sidetracked. You hear me? No getting sidetracked. Wipe down your stove surface. And if your grates look pretty rough, don't worry about those either. Just leave them on the stove because it's going to look like it's part of the stove. And then we're going to wipe down our oven front. So stay focused on the kitchen. Just the kitchen. That's all we're doing right now. 
And once you wipe down the stove, go over to the refrigerator and wipe the fingerprints off your refrigerator. A knife can actually um, cut grooves into your stovetop, so be careful using a knife. I like to use just a single edge razor blade like you were taking, um, like you were taking a uh, paint off of a window that you'd accidentally got on there. And it's just, it's just residue. It's just residue. So just, you can do this. Stay focused in your kitchen. Stay focused in your kitchen. Now, let's look at your dining table. The table that's in your kitchen or the bar, or if you have a island in your kitchen, let's look at that island and see what's on there that needs to be put away. You got it? So grab a box or basket or something and start taking things off of the island that don't belong there and putting them in this basket. Now, I don't want you running around. You got water going in the kitchen. I don't want you running around. You're staying in the kitchen. Stay in the kitchen. And even if you have to get a big pot to put things in, you're not leaving the kitchen to go get a basket. You hear me? We're staying in the kitchen. And we're going to clean off our island because that's the first thing people see when they walk into your kitchen. It's the first thing they see. So let's clear off our kitchen counter that is our island. If you have a dining room table that your the piles of paper clutter get on, then you've got to you've got to pull everything off of there too. This is crisis cleaning one on one. We are staying focused in our kitchen. We've got four more minutes, four minutes and 40 seconds. So let's stay focused on our kitchen. Now you're not doing this so fast that you're haphazard with your work. You're staying consistent. Leanne just talked about consistency. Stay focused on what you're doing. Work your way around your kitchen until you get all the flat surfaces cleared off. Now, your canisters, do they look rough? Do they look dirty? Rinse your rag again and wipe down your canisters real quick. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to get out the Windex or anything. You're just gonna wipe down your canisters and make them look, if you wanna spray your rag with a little Windex, that's fine too, but just stay focused on your kitchen. And then you're gonna be so surprised that when the kitchen looks good, the rest of the house is going to look good so we've got a little over three minutes to go in our kitchens and you can do this it's not hard but we have to put our blinders on and we have to stay focused in the kitchen our biggest is our biggest problem is trying to go all over the place trying to do too much and we're we just become we get this reverse scavenger hunt going and we can't get anything accomplished. We're staying in the kitchen. I mean, and if you want to get out two cups and a saucer for, for your friend that's coming, this is going to be a fun time for you to make a, make a pot of tea and have a cup of tea because that's what we're going to do at the last thing. Now, the secret is we're going to stay 15 minutes in our kitchen, 15 minutes in our entrance and our main living area, the things that when somebody walks in your door, they see, and then we're going to spend 15 minutes in your main bathroom. And then the last 15 minutes is the most important 15 minutes of the whole hour. And that's 15 minutes to catch your breath because this is sort of an aerobic atmosphere that you're in. You're getting things done. You're, you're, Staying focused on what needs to be done to make your house look good. This is crisis cleaning. This is crisis cleaning. And this is when you get that call from your mother-in-law that she's almost, you know, she's an hour away and you got to get the house clean. So we've all done it. And what makes our house look messy is every flat surface is cluttered. And that's the way it is in the kitchen. Every flat surface has clutter on it. So let's stay focused in the kitchen. We have two minutes. It's a two minute countdown. Uh, it's, we can do it. You know, they do it in football all the time. We got a two minute countdown and we're going to get our kitchens looking good. Now, once, once 
you get the dishes emptied and dishes put away, your kitchen is going to look great. You got a pot of water on boiling with, if you want to put some spices in it, that's fine. Doesn't take much to get the smell going and your house is going to smell good too as you do your crisis cleaning. But just let the water simmer. Don't put it on full boil. You don't want it to boil dry. We're staying focused in the kitchen. One minute and 15 seconds to go in your kitchen and then we're going to move on to the living room. So just look around your kitchen. See what else needs to be taken care of. You've cleared off your dining table and your, or, and your island. Push your, or your bar stools up to the counter and it will, it, it will make, you know, get everything, put the chairs up to the table, wipe the table off. And there you have it. You've practically cleaned your whole kitchen in 15 minutes time. You can be surprised at how much you can get done in just 15 minutes. And it's so fun to stay focused. So anytime you want a crisis clean, put on this little video. Don't watch the video. Just put the phone in your pocket, put your headset on and let me talk you through it. Don't watch it. That's go that's going to ruin it. So Set the phone up in your kitchen and just let me talk to you. You don't have to watch it because that's going to keep you from doing what you need to do. So stay focused. Let the dishwasher kept, keep running and leave the hot soapy water in your sink for right now because you're gonna, if you need to, you can come back and do the kitchen again. Do, work in the kitchen some more. Okay, that's our first 15 minutes. Setting the timer again for another 15 minutes and we're going to start... We're going to peek out the front door and see if you've got a rotten pumpkin on your front porch or whatever decoration needs to be taken off that's from the last holiday. You know, it could be Hallow it could be Halloween, it could be Christmas and it's March, or it could be Easter stuff that hadn't, you know, hadn't happened since last year. So let's look at our front porch and see what needs to be thrown away on the front porch right now. That's our first thing. Then look at your front door. Does it have fingerprints and puppy, puppy nose prints and paw prints on your front door? Grab a purple rag and we're going to wipe the windows down. It takes 30 seconds. That's all we're going to do. We're just going to get the fingerprints off the windows and wipe down the door if it's got some muddy paw prints on it. And let's get that looking clean because that's the first thing your guest is going to see. You want that front door looking pretty. And you can do this. It's so easy. Now, once you've gotten that door cleaned, because we get muddy paw prints on our door all the time, you take your broom and head out to the front porch and just quickly sweep the front stoop. That's all you gotta do, just sweep a path. If you got leaves out there, just sweep them off to the side. You don't have to sweep the whole porch. You're just making a path. You're just making a path. Now. Once that's done, we're going to go into the front door and shut the door behind you and we're going to look at what you see in the, your living room. Don't look at the whole thing. What's the first thing that catches your eye? Is it the credenza? For me, it's the credenza right behind my couch. It is a catch-all. It, sometimes it piles up with things. If packages come in, that's where Robert puts them and they have to be emptied every day. So let's clear off the flat surfaces. Get, grab a box or a laundry basket and let's go to every flat surface and let's clear it all off. Now this is crisis cleaning. This is not fly lady cleaning. This is crisis cleaning. Somebody's coming to your house and you need the house looking halfway decent. Yep, that's all it is. But it will give you some success. It will show you that there is hope. So let's t walk around the living room and the entrance area of your home and gather up everything that's on a flat surface. Yep. And you're going to put it in the basket. Laundry basket should hold it all. And you can do it. You can do it. Don't, don't say, I don't have time because you do have time. You have 15 minutes and we're staying focused. We've got 12 more minutes to go in our living room and we're clearing off the flat surfaces. You can't dust a flat surface with stuff all over it. 
So what we're going to do is once again, once we get the stuff off our flat surfaces, go put that on your bed because that means you have to deal with it before bedtime. You, you got that? There's a method to my madness. You have to deal with it before bedtime. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that basket on your bed. So you have to deal with it before you go to bed. Yep. After your company leaves, then you're going to take that basket and put everything where it belongs. But right now we're clearing off the flat surfaces. Then I want you to take your feather duster and a damp purple rag. Feather duster and a damp purple rag. I want you to feather dust right quick. quick. It takes two minutes to feather dust my whole house. And you can do this. We're going to feather dust the living room. And then if it's, it's no time at all, just run around the house and, and in your living room and feather dust everything that has a clear flat surface. And then if it needs a little extra wiping, use a damp purple rag and wipe things off because it'll dry right quick. Just it, it'll dry and it'll look good. It'll look great. Now, when you, when you get through wiping down all your furniture, I want you to look at the, the back of your couches. I want you to think about, you know, do you, I have a dog that has decided that the back of the couch is where she has to watch for us to come home. And she's lying on the back of our couch waiting for us to come home and she smushes it down. So I have a rubber scrubber that cleans off my dog hair and pad hair pet hair and cat hair from the back of my couch. Also, the back of your couches get dusty. So do a quick just brush of the back of your couches and the seats of your couches and then that way it it looks good. It looks good and don't worry about the floor just yet. Just sweep it right on into the floor because we're going to get that up in just a second. But right now we're dealing with the backs of the couches and and we've done our flat services and it's gonna look good. We have nine and a half minutes to go. Look what we've gotten done so far. So let's get the backs of our couches looking good and the seats of our couches and let's plump the pillows. You know, pretty pillows make everything look good. If you've got a blanket, put that in the basket along with the stuff you've cle cleared off the, off the beds and let's, you know, messy blankets on your couch make the room look messy too so let's gather that up and i have a fireplace that can get quite messy and just a quick sweep of all the the ash residue into the fireplace is good enough it's just good enough and it, it's so it feels so good then i want you to take your purple rag and rinse it out real good and let's go do your back door. If you have a door, I have a door out to my back deck. And it gets those puppy nose prints and those paw, muddy paw prints on it all the time. And that'll make the room look good. It'll make it look great. And then while you're in there, it never hurts to put on some fun music. Some fun music on your stereo system. And then that way you have music keeping you company and me keeping you company. And you're getting things done in your living room. Now, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to think about the floors. If you have hardwood floors, grab your mop again and we'll do a quick mop. If you've, if you've um, uh, wiped down the couch with a rubber scrubber and that stuff's in the floor, your quick mop around will gather all of that up. If it's gone under the couch, don't worry about moving the couch. We're not moving the couch. We're clearing off our coffee table and we're making everything look presentable presentable you've done a little feather dusting and wiping down the flat surfaces we've wiped down the 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 back door and it's going it's looking good already you can't believe the difference that getting getting all of the stuff off of your flat surfaces has done for your home it's going to change everything we have seven minutes to go we're halfway there, halfway there. And I'm trying to think of other things. Are there magazines and books that are out of place? Put them on the basket. And we'll that basket's going to go into your bedroom. Because nobody's going to go in your bedroom. Even if you have to lock the door. 
even if you have to lock the door to keep somebody from going in there. And we'll get this, get this room looking good. When you come into your living room, this is what you're going to see. A clear, great looking living room that's lived in. It's not perfect, but guess what? It's welcoming to guests. And you can, you can set a coffee, t coffee cup on your coffee table and not be embarrassed to have to move stuff out of the way. You're going to do this. You're, this is crisis cleaning 101. 15 minutes in your kitchen, 15 minutes in your living room, and then we're going to do 15 minutes in the bathroom because you do not want to be embarrassed by somebody going into the bathroom, the main bathroom of your home, and, and it being a disaster area. You know, we're not going to do it. But we're staying focused in our living room. We've got six more minutes, six more minutes. Now look around and see if there's anything that I've missed. Do you have rugs that need a good, um, a good carpet sweeping? So grab, grab your carpet sweeper and do your rugs right quick. Takes two minutes, two minutes at all. And this is going to be, your rugs are going to look good. Your, if you need to, you can sweep it with, with your sweeper or your broom, your broom. And, and then use your mop to gather it all up and get it out the door. This will be, you'll be so blown away that what 15 minutes can do to make your living room look absolutely amazing. You walk into the entrance of your house and there you see this beautiful living room all put together. And you know how to karate chop those pillows like they do on HGTV. Make your pillows look good. And let's just get this room looking wonderful wonderful and and then we're we're going to take some deep breathing we're going to take some deep breathing and after our 15 minutes in the bathroom is up and you're going to compose yourself because you've worked out pretty good you've worked out pretty good getting this done this is crisis crisis cleaning 101 and it's all about kitchen living room, bathroom, and then you. And you're the most important part of this. You are the most important part. So keep focused on your living room. We have four more minutes to go in our living room. Do you have some magazines that need to be put in recycling? Do you have uh, a, a bunch of paperwork on your coffee table? Let's get that stuff off of there. Get it in a basket and you can look at it in just a little bit after, after your company leaves because we're not going to get sidetracked going through paperwork. You got that? And you might need a drink of water because I did. Let's get some water in us and let's keep moving right along. Keep moving right along. The carpet sweeper gets up that pet hair like you wouldn't believe. You don't even know that there's that much pet hair on the rug. You don't have to empty it right now. We're just going to get the pet hair up. That's all we're going to do. Gather up all the stuff on our, on our flat surfaces. These are hot spots. These are the place where you put one piece of paper and it starts multiplying like rabbits. Like rabbits, I'm telling you. So we are going to gather this paper up and then you can breathe. Then you can really bleed, breathe. Yes, we have a lot of paperwork and it needs to have its own home. Everything has a home, everything in its place, everything has a place and everything in its place. But right now is not the time to try to figure out where that place is. Do you hear me? We're staying focused on making the living room look clean. What we want to do when we know company is coming is we want to start painting or doing something stupid. All we got to do is clean off our flat surfaces. We just have to clean off our flat surfaces. That's it. And our, our houses will look clean. Our houses will look wonderful. And it will be fun. It will be fun to do. But we're staying focused on our living room right now and the entrance of our home. Do you have a bunch of shoes right by the front door where people come in and they trip over these shoes? Gather up all those shoes and... Put them in a basket and take them to your bedroom 
or take them to the kids' room, who they, whoever they belong to, and get them out of the living room. Don't start putting them away, but just get them out of the living room for right now. That's all you got to do. I keep saying that's all you got to do, but we're staying focused in our living room. We got a minute and 44 seconds in our living room to go. One minute and 40 seconds, and we can do this. And your living room is going to look good. And you'll be able to go, wow, my living room can look like this. And it will look like this. It can look like this. It can be beautiful. But you just have to stay focused and not be running around all over the place. (laughs) Yes, I know people who have done this. Now, look at, take your damp purple rag and wipe down some, Um, your switches. Sometimes they get dirty handprints and we don't even notice it. So wipe down some switches right quick. Doesn't take but just a second to do this. And we got one minute to go and your living room is looking good, honey. It is looking good because you have stayed focused. You haven't left the living room And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the bathroom, but we still got 30 seconds. So take a deep breath. I want you to look around your living room and see if there's anything else out of place. Just look around and see if there's anything else that's out of place and deal with it. That's all you got to do. Anything else out of place. Put your purse where it belongs. And just, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, two. There we got it. Living room. If it's not done, it's real close to getting done. So I'm setting the timer again. And we're going to go into our main bathroom. This is the bathroom that people would use if they asked to use your restroom, okay? So, setting the timer, 15 minutes. We're going to go in the bathroom. Now, this person isn't going to be taking a shower. It's not going to be taking a shower. So, we're not going to worry about our bathtub. What we're going to worry about is our toilet and our sink and our countertop. We're going to start with our countertop. What is out of place on the counter? Do you have things that need to go somewhere else? You know, today I, well, last week I had emptied a bag of things from Leanne's house. I I undid them in, most of the things went in my medicine cabinet, but I had a jar of perfect paleo protein sitting right on the counter. So I moved that to the kitchen where I keep it. And then you just got to clear off your counters. Now, put some hot soapy water in your sink and take your purple rag or silver rag and rinse it really really well and wipe down your countertop. And then you'll be so surprised at how how the bathroom is going to look wonderful. It's just going to look absolutely wonderful. And then we're going to take um, and wipe the sink out real good. Wash it. If you got, if you need to use some cleanser on the sink, then let the water out and use some cleanser on the sink. Wipe down your faucets. Wipe behind the sink, wipe behind the faucets. Uh, rinse your rag out really well and clean the dental floss home runs off the mirror. This is going to make this bathroom look and smell good. Now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty and the dirty. And what we've got to do next is deal with the toilet. So I don't want you to be surprised if you lift up the seat on the toilet and it looks really bad. I want you to take some um, some Windex or your purple rag. This will be a dirty purple rag because you're not going to be able to use it on anything else. It's going to have to go to the wash machine. But I want you to wipe down your toilet seat and wipe down the edge of the toilet And then if you need to, spray some Windex around the base of your toilet and clean the base, the floor around your toilet. Now, if you have a rug in your bathroom, you're going to need to either put that in in the washing machine or you're going to need to just uh, put it in the tub for later because nobody's going to be looking in your bathtub. Nobody's going to be looking. We're staying focused on 
putting out a clean towel for somebody, put their dirty towel in the, in the hamper and get out a clean towel so someone can dry their hands. And let's just get your bathroom smelling good and looking good. And the next thing you're gonna to have to focus on is your floor. And a bathroom floor is pretty small. You can, you can take a, a wet purple rag, not the one you just used on your toilet. We're gonna to get a different one. Uh, and we're gonna wipe down, we're gonna wipe the floor. Yep, w with your foot. That's all you gotta do, just, just keep wiping the floor. And this, this room is going to smell better. It's going to look better. Now look at your, your, your doors on your vanity. Are they nasty looking? Wipe them down right quick with a clean purple rag or a washcloth. I don't care what you use. Just stay focused on your bathroom. Mirror, countertop, sink, faces of, the, of the, your vanity, the floor, around the base of the toilet, the back of the toilet. What do you have on the back of your toilet? Do you have too many books on there? Let's get rid of those books and clear off the back of the toilet and wipe it down with, a, with your clean rag. And it gets dusty. Do you have too many things on the shelves? Do a quick rearranging of shelves. Shelves are the towels just folded any which way Take a minute and refold some towels and put them in the, in, on the shelves. I'm trying to think of how my bathroom looks. Um, do your canisters need to be refilled? You have plenty of toilet paper in your bathroom. You don't want your guests saying, uh, I'm sorry, we, I couldn't find any extra toilet paper. And, and look under your bathroom cabinet. Wow, that would be a quite a, make sure you got plenty of toilet paper in your bathroom. So that you don't have to, so they don't have to holler, I'm having a drip dry in here. So please get plenty of toilet paper in your bathroom so that they will have, uh, not have to look for toilet paper. I've had that happen to me at, you know, at somebody's house and that's not, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for them. It's embarrassing for you. So stay focused. Let's get our bathroom company ready company ready and I like we're gonna to have to switch the toilet eventually so I keep a toilet bowl brush in Dawn dishwashing liquid with half water half Dawn dishwashing liquid right there but I also have some lavender smelly stuff that I can squirt in the toilet that makes the toilet smell good too so do a quick swish and swipe in your toilet after you've already wiped down the seat and the rim and your your bathroom is going to smell good it's going to look good if you have some lavender oil you can take a little drop of it and put it on the inside of your toilet toilet paper roll and then when they when they roll it off it will it will it's like um air freshener air freshener you can use orange oil too it all is good just to make your bathroom smell wonderful and it it's just, you know, we've done seven minutes in here already and look how good it's smelling. Now, put all the toothbrushes where they belong. You know, sometimes we need to just put the toothbrushes in the cabinet and leave them in the cabinet for right now. Uh, when it comes time for the kids to brush their teeth for after getting ready for bed, you can pull them all out again, but right now, let's put everything away. Let's get everything up off the counter and clear your counter so it looks wonderful. And make sure you got hand soap in your soap dispenser for someone to wash their hands. Is that empty? So let's get everything looking. We're not dealing with the bathtub right now. Pull the shower curtain or the door shut. Now, if it looks pretty rough in there, then, then take a basket and gather everything off the edge of the tub if you need to. And then put it in your bedroom because you're going to deal with this later. You can put it all, um, then you can put it all away when you, when they leave. Right now, you just want the bathroom looking company ready. Because 
you do not want to have to deal with being embarrassed. This is not about you being embarrassed. This is about you feeling empowered. Do you hear me? This bathroom is going to look good. Now, if you need to get the mop out and mop the floor rather well, then do that. But it doesn't take long to mop. It's a small room. And I have a scale that gets really dusty. So I might wipe down my scale because it's got an inside and an outside and just wipe it wipe it down so it looks good with little Windex and my purple rags. I keep a supply of purple rags in my bathroom because I use them for everything, everything. So folks, don't get all bent out of shape that companies come in. Don't, because when we get in a panic, we lose all sight of what the priority is. The priority was the kitchen, then the living room, and now the bathroom. And you're getting it looking good. You're going to make your bathroom look and smell good. And you can even pour a little squirt of lavender oil down your sink. And it's going to, it's going to smell good in your, in your uh, bathroom. Another thing you can do is take, put a little bit of lavender oil on a little piece of toilet paper, clean toilet paper, and wipe down your sink and it'll make your sink shine. And it's going to smell wonderful. It's going to smell great. And especially if you have little boys, anything you can make a bathroom smell better, it's going to be good. It might not be totally disinfected, but it'll smell good. And put some in your trash. Yep. Oh, and empty the trash. Thanks, y'all. Let's empty the bathroom trash. Go stick it in your kitchen trash and put the lid on it. And just have a clean trash bag in there. I keep a roll of trash bags underneath the the bottom, you know, in the bottom of my, uh, lavender, right? Doing the lavender, yeah, lavender makes everything smell better. It really does. And I have Epsom salt in my bathroom. I have a huge 20 pound bag of Epsom salt and I take about three cups of it and put it in a smaller bag with lavender oil. And I can open up that bag of lavender Epsom salt and it just, uh, the aroma is, it's just beautiful and relaxing. It really is beautiful and relaxing. And we can do this. We can, you know, we're staying focused for 15 minutes, 15 minutes in the kitchen, 15 minutes in the living room and your entrance and 15 minutes in your bathroom. And we're down to four minutes in the bathroom. Now look around. Do you have anything hanging on the back of your bathroom door? Are there any dirty clothes in the floor? Let's gather up all of your dirty clothes and everything that's on your bathroom door and let's put that in a basket and put it on your bed because you're going to have to deal with it after the company comes. And it's we're only going to spend 15 minutes dealing with it after the company leaves and then it'll be ready to go. You, you can put things back where they belong, but don't junk it up. Clean things up as you're getting rid of it. You can do it. Clean things up. I got my heart rate up there just talking to you. Just talking to you. So keep, keep going. We're down to three minutes and 30 seconds. Wow. Y'all are really getting stuff done. I'm so proud of you. And if you do swish and swipe every day, your bathroom always looks pretty good. It always does. So let's stay focused in this bathroom. Do you need to put out some other fresh towels? Fresh, clean towels actually smell good too, especially if you've, they've just been washed. So put them on the towel rack and it's going to help make the bathroom smell wonderful. So what else can you think of that your guests might need in the bathroom? Do you have too many magazines in the bathroom? Let's get rid of some of those. You can do this. We're going to stay focused in this bathroom. Now look around and see if there's anything else. Look at the, look at the light switches. Do they need to be wiped down? Do you have too many power, too many cords on, on your counter? Stick them in the drawer. And then that way you can be able to, I keep my, um, not my phone in my bathroom, but I keep my watch charging in my bathroom. And, and that's where I, I 
like to keep it because when I get up in the middle of the night and walk in there, it comes on. It tells me what time it is. I don't have to search in the dark for the clock to look at it. So everybody just please, please, please stay focused. We got two minutes to go and your bathroom's looking wonderful. It's smelling wonderful and everything is, mm, everything's just beautiful. And when it smells good, you feel good about it. You really do feel good about it. So folks, please stay focused on this bathroom and start slowing down just a little bit. We got a minute and 40 seconds and, and just look around and see if there's anything that's out of place and you can take care of this. Anything else that's out of place and, you know, take, take the dirty laundry, start winding things up. Uh, oh, are all the light bulbs working in your bathroom? Yep. Sometimes they b burn out and we don't know it. I can't, I'm not going to climb. So don't you be climbing. If the bathroom is one light bulbs burn out, don't worry about it. You can change that later. But if you have no light bulbs in your bathroom, that's, in, that's pretty bad. <laughs> but hey, you can get it done. You can get it done. So we're down to one minute. One minute. You can do this. You've done, this is, you're going on 45 minutes of staying focused on what you, what's the job at hand. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we got 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds. Yeah, get, get a load of stuff going in the wash machine. And that's going to make your house smell good too. Because, you know, washing things. That soap smell is in, in and around, and you can do it. Uh, 20 seconds, 19. Just start. Just breathing. Breathe slow. You can do this. Just breathe slow, and let's get this done. Because you're going to feel good about your whole house right now. And there goes the timer. So the next 15 minutes, the next 15 minutes, here's what we're going to do. I want you to pour yourself a cup of tea. Yep, cup of tea, a cup of ice water, get yourself something to drink because we are going to, um, we're going to, we're going to decompress just a little bit and we're going to start thinking about it. Now, I want you to look at your clothes right now. Do you need to put on a clean top? Have you gotten your shirt all messed up from cleaning right fast? I want you to go to your closet and if you need to get a new sh clean shirt on, I want you to do it right now. Go do that. And I know you got on your shoes and then go to the bathroom and I want you to look to see if your makeup needs to be freshened up. So let's get, let's get a clean shirt on and let's look at our makeup, put on some lipstick, a little blush, this is a quick and dirty way to look look your best. Put some lipstick on and then take your fingers and go like this on and make blush out of it. And rub it in real good and you'll have blush. Look at your glasses. Do they need cleaned? You don't want all spotty glasses when your friend comes to the door. So let's stay focused on yourself right now. Now get your cup of tea. And I want you to go sit down in a comfortable spot where you can see the door. You're going to look like the hostess with the mostess. And or maybe be standing at your kitchen waiting to see somebody come down the driveway. I have a long driveway and I look right down my driveway from my kitchen sink. And just, you know, empty out the sink and just, just stay calm. We're just staying calm. I want you to breathe. I want you to sit down, put your feet up, and I want you to relax just a little bit. We're not going to jump back in and get started. We're just finishing up and looking around at the house and feeling really proud of yourself. Really proud of yourself because look at what you've accomplished in 45 minutes. And now we're, we're going to take care of ourselves. We're going to get some water down us. We're going to get a cup of tea and your house is smelling good. And, and just think about this. This is wonderful. we got 12 minutes to chill. 
She'll be here in 12 minutes. And I just want you to relax. I don't want you out of breath when you answer the door. I want you to be calm and cool and collected. How cool is this going to be? Calm, cool, collected. Because your kitchen is the heart of your home. Your living room looks wonderful. Your bathroom is not going to embarrass you if somebody has to go in there. And you are going to feel great. Feel great. When you're getting to have a visit with your friend that you haven't seen in 20 years. So let go of all your anxiety and let's just breathe. In fact, my watch just told me to breathe. So let's focus and breathe. And say a prayer for old friends and just stay focused on loving yourself, being kind to yourself, and not trying to kill yourself by running all over the place. Just staying in one room while you're, you're being focused on that one room is going to keep you cool, under pressure. We're staying focused. And right now, our focus is taking care of us taking care of us and you can do this you really can because it doesn't have to be hard we have 11 minutes to go before that doorbell is going to ring 11 minutes to go what can you do in 11 minutes you know as your dishwasher finished running just stay in your kitchen if you want to at your kitchen table with your feet up in a chair next to you that's fine but if you want to finish up a few little odds and ends things, we're not being rushed. We're taking it slow and steady. Slow and steady. We're catching our breath and we can do this. We really can do this. Look, you stayed focused with me for almost an hour. How wonderful that you've gotten all this done. And this is a great way to get your house ready for company because once you get all of this stuff gathered up that was making your house look messy when the company leaves you can go in one basket at a time and start putting things away or putting it in the trash a lot of times it's just trash just trash trash so let's let's do what we need to do to be ready for this company to come now look in your refrigerator and do you have something that you can serve as a an appetizer some cheese and crackers or some little something you know a little plate of cookies i'm not eating cookies but that doesn't mean my guests wouldn't want some cookies so start thinking about putting together a little cheese plate or uh some some cookies or something to put on a plate to go with your tea and it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. It doesn't have to be anything special. I always keep a package of, of designer crackers in my pantry. And I always have cheese. So there you have it. Anything you can do that can put a little bit of stuff on your table. Their butter cookies are a good way to keep things on hand. It's nice. You don't have to cook anything. You just open up a pack. So folks, you've done really well. I want you to calm yourself and just relax so that we can, you can be ready for your company to knock on your door. Yep. So turn some lights on in the house. If it's rainy and nasty outside, get some lights on. Put some fun music on, just some light jazz or uh, we had, uh, Patty and I found a new jazz singer the other day, and her name is uh, Kat, Kat, I uh, can't think of her last name, but Melody Gardo is a nice little jazz singer, so if you've got an uh, A-L-E-X-A, just say light, Melody Gardo music, and you know, just just have a you know have a nice atmosphere going that's what this is all about is setting the tone for your home and when you set the tone in your heart then your home is going to fall right along with it you're not going to be uh, light a candle is good a lot of people can't have cat edmund 
Yeah. Edmund. Yeah. That's what my sister said. But please just slow down and not get stay in a hurry and put on some nice music. Not Cat Stevens. Cat K A T Edmonds. Cat Edmonds. I heard her at my beauty shop on Wednesday. And her she sounded just like Melody Gardo. And it's just some easy listening light jazz music and it's just beautiful background music to having um yeah i don't say those words out loud but whatever you're using just put on some fun music put on some fun music yep so your house is looking good your kitchen's looking good your living room's looking good your bathroom is acceptable and it smells good and just Edmonds, not Edmonds' son, Edmonds. And it's just really beautiful music. And you can relax to that music too. <laughs> yep. So I'm not going to say the word, but tell A L E X A to play Cat Edmonds music. And she will. She really will. And it's just relaxing. It's just relaxing. And you're you're going to be ready for her to knock on the door. You've got your cup of tea. You can get her a cup of tea. And y'all can have a nice visit. See how playing these little games is fun? Now, when you do get that phone call, you know how to do this. And keep, you know, bookmark this video when I get it up on YouTube always know where it's going to be and i'm going to put it up on our fly lady radio page where you can access it very easily with crisis cleaning and i'll have it ready for you so that you can do crisis cleaning anytime you want anytime and it makes us feel empowered it gives us hope that our house can look good in just a few short minutes it really can and when you're doing, this may be the last time you ever have to crisis clean because establishing simple habits is, these simple habits are going to make your home be on automatic pilot. And your home is going to be absolutely cleaning itself without you even realizing it. So you can do this. You can do this. We've got four minutes to go until she comes to the door. Four minutes to go. And I want you to realize how strong you are. You don't have to be embarrassed by your home anymore. Our routines, our simple little habits, strung into routines, are going to change your life. This can happen. You just have to stay focused. Focused on what you're doing right now. You're, you're chilling out right now. You're getting your house. It's sounding good. It's feeling wonderful. And you are going to have a great time visiting with your family. Look around, see if there's anything you missed, like toys in the floor, shoes by the door, coats, too many coats on the coat, uh, on your, your entrance. So look around and see if there's anything out of place and you'll be ready. You'll be ready. Get some napkins out so you, your guests can have some napkins. I keep some pretty cloth napkins uh, in a drawer ready for company. So you can do this. You've done it already. You can do it. No more excuses. It just takes an hour. You, anybody can do this in an hour. Anybody can do this. Can get their house looking good. No complaining. No whining. No going out to meet her at the coffee shop. She's coming to your house. She's coming to your house. And you're going to love showing off your house. You love your house. You just don't like it when it's messy. And our hot spots make it messy. Anybody can do this. If I can do it, you can do it. Anybody can do this. 
So please stay focused for the next two minutes. The doorbell could be ringing. I want you to, you know, get a seat at your coffee, on your couch or on at your dining room table, at your bar, whatever you want to do. And let's just relax a little bit. Let's just relax. We're pretending like we're having a pretend friend over. That's what we're pretending. You got a friend from high school called and they're coming through town. And they'll be there in an hour. That was our whole game. It could be your mother-in-law's coming. But it's more fun if it's a friend so you're not as panicked. Your long lost friend. Yep. Minute 40 seconds. And just... Do some deep breathing. Slow your heart rate down a little bit. And there you have it. And you'll be able to have tea time with your friend. Tea time with your friend. And I'll be back on here in a little bit for our tea time. And I want you to look at how wonderful your house is right now. How beautiful it is with just you staying focused. Can you imagine? I bet you never thought it could be this easy. But now that I've talked you through it, it's all fun. It's all fun. Well, I'm very proud of you all for doing this for an hour. For an hour. And once you get crisis cleaning done, the rest is a piece of cake. Yep, it's a piece of cake. So thanks for joining in with me. Anytime you need to do this, always remember to rest after three 15-minute sessions. Always rest and go from the living room, from the kitchen to the living room to the bathroom. These are the three rooms. Now, if you have to get a guest room ready, then mix it up. Rest for 15 minutes and then start over and start with your guest room. Stay focused. Stay focused. But don't do more than two sessions at one time. And always put in the 15 minutes. I'm proud of you. Anytime you need this, pull up this video. And you can get your house looking good too. See you later. Have a good tea time.